we're here to share with you our project that we've been working on, which is the Planning Learning Spaces project. And it helps us to rethink how we teach and how our learning environment impacts the way that we teach. The PLS process made us really think deeply and consider our core values as a school and think about how those values can be portrayed within a space. Having identified key values we want to work on and the way the furniture is holding us back, we had the chance to look at lots of different options and see how different furniture could then deliver those values better for us. So we were able to match the furniture to what we want to portray and want to be in the classroom. One of our key next practices that we were looking to develop was to get the children working more collaboratively and we really feel like we've achieved this through the learning environment we've created. This room is better than the other room because you can move the tables apart and you can work in different groups like in pairs, threes and by yourself. I like working and sharing with each other because if you're stuck you can just ask somebody please can you help me with this question. In the other room when we had to do something in our whiteboard we had to get our whiteboard out and then start writing but in this room the tables are actually made of whiteboard so instead of just getting your whiteboard out you can just get a whiteboard pen and start writing on the tables. We've seen children testing out spellings on the tables so thinking they don't know how to spell something, trying it out three times, using it just independently like that. We see a lot of in maths working out calculations, which is great for them independently, but also we see a lot of them, because of the nature of the way the tables are set out, then being collaborative about that and looking over and thinking, is it the same as other people? The children have um, picked up on the way that we have been uh, learning in our new environment and they don't just see it as some fancy furniture, they see it now as where can I learn best? What zones do I need to go into today? Am I struggling? Do I need to go to an area where I can get some help, whether that's with a teacher or the space that they go into provides the help? And who they sit next to, you know, they the way that everything's shaped and the zones that we've allowed has allowed the learners to take responsibility for their own learning and they choose what level of support they need. And sometimes obviously we can guide them but the more that they are in the environment, the more that they are becoming more independent and taking their own responsibility for their learning. Another element uh, in the classroom that we've found particularly useful is the various different seating options we have. So we don't just have chairs, um, we also have these soft seating stools, which are really great and they go hand in hand with the choice that the children have as to where to sit throughout the day. So they are able to move to soft seating at some parts of the day, to the hard seats at other parts of the day. So I really like the bean bags and I think there must, should be a few more because when you're on the bean bags you can just relax and when you're relaxed you normally listen better. I really like the drawers because if I have lots of drawings I'll probably put it in there and if I have like booklets and stuff or like work and stuff like that I'll put it in there. So when we have lots of work and we need to keep something safe, instead of just having to remember, keep it when you come in, they take it to another table when you're moving, you can just put it in the drawer and it's okay. We can have different resources at different areas of the room and they're so easy for the children to just go and get them themselves. You know, we don't have to have a teaching assistant um, walking around the classroom handing out a resource to each child, which just wastes time while the children aren't learning. You know, they can get up and go and get it whenever they need and there's not 30 children around a cupboard or a corner of the room trying to get resources out. For me, the whole process has, has really been fantastic. Having taught for quite a long time, you get kind of stuck in certain ways almost. And then I think in terms of seeing the children use it as well, there's been some really wow moments. And it was just the space and that allowed it to happen, um, which was just, it's just amazing to see really. So we're delighted with the outcomes. Mm -hmm.